let's say hello to the next um, part-time resident on the bike lift and this is um, quite a rare 1974 I think I was told 650 Bonneville T120V with a disc brake front end and uh, it needs some light recommissioning work and among the various things that I've been asked to do the owner's brought me a new set of tyres for it which he wants me to fit um, obviously the originals are somewhat like Bakelite and uh, they are supposed to be the originals that were fitted when the bike was indeed made new at Triumph in Meriden an interesting thing here we got the dreaded um, tyre security bolts I've already got the old tyre off it was quite tough got two of these tyre security bolts in the rear wheel you don't often really need them now these days with the sort of grip that tyre beads tend to have on rims but they're there and I'm going to use them they're original but strange thing as far as I can make out is that usually when I fit these I fit the rim tape run over them rather than have a hole through the rim tape as is the case here but presumably that is how they were fitted at Triumph but anyway there's new tyres there's new tubes and there's new rim tapes so I'm going to fit them the way that I've always done it which is to put the rim tapes over these um, tyre security bolts because otherwise you end up with those uh, bare metal heads pressing directly on the inner tube which I don't think is a great idea myself I could be wrong but uh, I'm going to stick with the devil I know and the way I've done it for many many years perhaps somebody at Triumph maybe got it wrong maybe I've been doing it wrong all the time but like I say I'm going to stick with what I know so I'll get the uh, security bolts off get the rim tape off but in fact I can just cut the rim tape off rather than undo them fit the new rim tape and the new tyres and new tyre and tube and hopefully have it all back together and ready to go back on the bike again soon and that will be one major job out of the way I'm not sure I don't think I could have really practically taken the rear wheel off this machine without removing the exhausts but it was no great headache to do that and um, the exhausts are very nice I think they were new old stock fit to this one actually and I certainly don't want to be responsible for marking or denting them so the extra little bit of work to get them off that's what I've done so I'm gonna crack on now shout and swear at the uh, new tire and the security bolts get all that put back together and get the wheel back on well, here I am rounding off the week's work with this uh, new arrival that just turned up earlier today and I've already changed the rear tire on it I thought I'd get that one out the way I took the silencers off, I think you probably have to, uh, it doesn't look like that spindle would uh, pull out without fouling on the exhaust or marking it, so it doesn't take very long to take the silencers off, so I got them out of the way, which made life a lot easier. I've also got the uh, centre stand on top of some timbers there to raise the rear wheel off the deck a good way, which also helps. And um, while it was apart, I cleaned out more grease, I think, from that rear brake than you find in some Indian Enfield gearboxes, but uh, never mind, that's all sorted now. The shoes and the drum are degreased and uh, deglazed and all refitted and working nicely. Uh, this one, this wheel, whether the camera will pick it up or go around the other side, it might might be a bit better from this side, easier to see, but we've got um, two tyre security bolts in this rear wheel. I kept them, it uh, took a few of my best and loudest swear words, mind, while I did the job, but uh, nevertheless it's all sorted and as it should be now, so as I say it's a nice um, way to round off a Friday afternoon and finish the week knowing that that job is out of the way and it's not going to be hanging over me next week although I will of course have to take the front wheel off and do the same with that because that's got its original front tyre on it too which is sort of like Bakelite or cast iron even so uh, one down one to go 
and uh, that's where I'm rounding my week up.